Well, good morning guys. Today, we are here on top of the high, high, absolutely high altitude. Approximately 2,000 meters above the sea level. And on my right hand side, here is the beginning of Mount Elgon National Park and the beginning of Mount Elgon here on my right side and here see the fog you may think it's almost rain then that's not a cloud as usual it's because of a high high altitude then you can see now the snow have covered most of the area and here I can see that those are the habitant area. But see, the cloud, the fog, it was really covered just in a second. And where I stood here, this is the well-known, the well-known athletes. If you can still remember, in Kapchorua, who has won a medalist, London 2012. No other than Kiprotic. His name is Stefan Kiprotic. And here, where I stood here, is where the land of Mr. Kiprotic was being given to build a athletic stadium or athletic stadium, I think, which they can be trained. It can be as a symbolize the the Kipro teach I think field. Kipro teach this is where you're gonna have, I think even the name of this stadium is gonna be called Kipro teach. It's on top of the hill. And next there, there's another athlete, which the name, the name was? Cheptegei. Chapter Gay Joshua, down there, can see those houses. The structure is still under construction. And here on top, because big is big, Kipro teach Stefan, this is where it's gonna build a state of art stadium, which can accommodate most of the athletes in the region very, very cold. of Sebe region. Down, below, you know, uh, so here we are. 10 degrees here.
Yesterday we slept at Kaptorwa. That was our third last camp before we accomplish our trip expedition 2020 across the Pearl of Africa. And as you can see rapidly, the weather it keeps changing. Just within a couple of minutes, we have been to have been the cloud has been the place was been a bit clear. But within a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds, you see the, the change now. It's a bit windy. You may think we are around approximately a.m. But it's not the case when I see, check my watch, it's about 11.30, around approximately approaching midday. But look at the cloud. There's nothing like rain. It's because we are on top of the mountain, in the beginning of Mount Elgon, next to midday, Elgon, Mount Elgon National Park on top of the 2,000 meters on top of the sea level. That's why the kind of atmosphere, see cloud, fog and mix up things, weather is not stable. And where I stood here is where Mr. Kiprotich Stephen, the medalist 2012 in London, if you can still have a great memory, remember the Kiprotich Stephen, Stephen, Stephen Kiprotich won the gold medal and made Uganda proud. And this is where the land was being given, I think by the government, which will be built, which will be built to make him, to make it become as a athlete center in the old region. Anyone want to practice the same career as Mr. Kiprotich, Stephen uh, Kiprotich will be have a chance to come and do his practice. I think gonna be a state of art stadium and where they can practice, even we check on the between towards our coming here, the road is being paved with the tarmac road. That's wonderful. As I've been saying earlier, all that we slept yesterday at our our third, our third last before the end of our expedition. This is the, gonna be the third before end expedition campsite. It was Kapchorwa, and Kapchorwa, the meaning of Kapchorwa, we discovered it yesterday. It is the home of friends. When I mean the hope of friends, we experienced yesterday, have wonderful people and he really warmly welcome yesterday. And this is not enough. The downside is Mr. There's another athlete as well, a new coming athlete as well. He's building his site down there and gonna be also among the athletes in the region. I think I can believe now why the Sebei people are still very good in the, in the whole Uganda among the best athletes because most of their, 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 their areas, most of their, their land is mountainous land and since they are born up to their old age, their own athlete, athletism here is on daily basis. When I'm saying daily basis, because when you go to plantation, you must climb and climb the, the mountain. It shows the athletism here is a constant, even the elders and the younger and is willingly and unwillingly. Go to the market, you must do athlete because you're moving downside and upward side of the hill of the mountain. That's so wonderful. The weather is still changing so rapidly and we really enjoy the breath. If you are, I didn't tell you that this is a Kapchorwa, you may think you're in West London or somewhere in Europe. So that's a, the, the, why we are here. So Kapchorwa is bordering Kenya is not far from here. Even this atmosphere, the weather is same like the Voi and other part of Kenya. And this is Uganda side, 20 kilometers Kenya side. This is Mount Elgo. What else I forget to share with you people? I'm here. The weather is changing dramatically, drastically. The weather changing. What else? We have our machine climbing the hill with 4x4. Vehicle Toyota Land Cruiser, 7th Series. We didn't experience any, any challenge, which you call it, I love to call it, effortless climbing on the hill that's it and the region this is a bay region which is called Kapchorwa is bordering with Bulangi district which is on the west side and and uh, Sironko which is on northeastern side down 65 kilometers we are heading to Mbale. Mbale is the nearest and the largest city in the region. And this now, after here, we are heading to, towards Mbale. That is only which I can share with you the brief 
update about our trip to we are here on top of the hill of Kiprotich, Stefan Kiprotich, the medalist 2020 and 2012, and still maintain his title as well. As we continue with the expedition, stay with us, stay with us, and stick around. What a day, what a weather! So wonderful. Woo! which you can find them only in the Kiprotis Stefan Stadium. And this is his still does an ancestral way of cultivation with the, with the cows and Nyati Power. I don't know how you gotta call it. That's it. Huh? This is Mr. Kaju. He's so familiar with the region. The weather is even planned to retire early so that can come and base on this place here. This is his plan. Not my thought, his plan, mine. And then you watch out, give him to you. <laughs> Thank you. Let's keep going. It has been a nice tour. We came around and um, to look at the site where identified by the government, uh, given another project of a uh, Kepro Teach. Um, it's a high altitude um, uh, training, uh, athletic training ground, I think, for the athletes in the whole country. Uh, given the terrain and uh, the nature of the um, of, 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 of the, um, the site, for God's sake, um, no wonder the the Sabines are one of the best um, athletes in the world. The terrain is really tough, so if one can be in position to maximize um, the, the terrain, do a lot of practice, I'm sure you nobody who can beat you anyway. It's the same terrain that we have in the other side of Kenya, the Kalenjin, the, the best athletes in Kenya have the same kind of a climate and the terrain. So whoever is outside there and wants to join, please. This is where you can come and uh, probably um, do a bit of camping and uh, get yourself stretched and be somebody somewhere someday in the future. Thank you and see you guys. Wonderful. Yeah. I think you people have a dream one day to become and keep protege of West Nile or Western Uganda, Eastern Uganda, Northern Uganda, you can come and register too early so that you can be among the player list. Player list. But through and then. That's a wonderful day. Ara. <laughs> I am Nur Ismail Nozul, diesel engineer, join me as I share my passion for building four-wheel drive trucks and traveling to the remotest part of the world. I 